Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, everybody. God bless you. This is Apostle Luis Chacon. And I just wanted to share for a few minutes some thoughts on what faith is. It's a very important subject because um, as Christians, our foundation is always love. We must always walk in love. Amen. But what pleases God is faith. Hebrews 11, 6, he says, without his faith in us, faith, it is impossible to please him. He says, he that cometh to God must believe that God is who he says that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And I'm telling you, faith is so important to the Christians, to us children of God, sons and daughters. So I wanted to share a little bit about, because we want to please God with faith. We don't want to just know about faith. We don't want just to hear about faith, but be doers of this uh, power force called faith. Amen? Because we want to please God. I do. I know that you do too. So listen, what is faith? Well, I have some things written down in here and it says, faith is a gift from God. You see, uh, faith is given in uh, Ephesians 2.8. New Testament, it says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Faith is also dealt to us, is given to us. Look at uh, Romans 12.3. It says, God has dealt, has given to every man the measure of faith. So when you're born again, when you receive Jesus, you have a measure of faith. And it's up to us to get that grown up, get it big, amen, by using our faith. Not just saying we're faith people and that, yeah, we believe in faith, but use it, believe it, act on it. It says right here, faith cometh in Romans 10, 17, New Testament. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing again by the word of God. Every time you and I listen to the word of God, faith comes and it arises inside of us that measure of faith begins to get bigger and we got to use it we got to put it to work amen faith pleases god you see hebrews 11 6 i just mentioned that right now without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to god must believe that he is who do you say god is god is my healer god is my provider god blesses me with finances with health god blesses me with friends. God forgives me of my sins. You know, who is God to you? Okay, I hope it's not just money, money, money. There's more than money, money, money. You better make sure that God is everything to you. Amen. So it says here that he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Diligently, diligently, constantly, constantly, constantly. Keep seeking God. Keep seeking God. Reward, 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 reward comes to you from God. And then it says, it is impossible for us. Is it a, a question? Is it impossible for us to have faith? No. We can all have faith. Just make sure you hear it and hear it so it'll come to you and then you receive it. You see? And then it says, if God provides a means whereby faith can be obtained, then the responsibility is on us to get it. You see, God's word tells us how to obtain faith. So if we don't have it, it's not God's fault. You see, to blame God for a lack of faith is nothing but ignorance. So what is faith, Pastor Luis? Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith means that we are confident of what we hope for. Convinced of what we do not see. Another uh, another translation says it this way in Hebrews 11. 1. Uh, okay, I just had it. Hold on. Hebrews 11. 1. Thank you, Father. Here it is. Hebrews 11. 1. To have faith is to be sure 
of the things we hope for. To be certain of the things we cannot see. Hallelujah. You're certain of what you're hoping for, even though you don't see it. It's mine. I have it. I believe I receive it. I have it now. I act like it. I act like I have it. I act like I'm doing it. I act like I'm in my new car. I act like I'm in my new uh, motorcycle that I asked God, all these things. I ask, uh, I act like I'm in my new house as God, as I ask God for a house. I acting, I'm acting like it. James 1.22 says, don't be just a hearer only and just say, yes, 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 but be a doer of the word, James 1.22. So it says right here, praise God, faith is giving substance to things hoped for. Faith is the title deed, is the paper, the seal, the, the things we have hoped for. It is at last hours. You have the assurance in that faith, the paperwork, that, that security bill, the, the, the contract. You see, faith is substance. It's tangible. It's real. Faith is substance. Faith is the evidence of things not seen. Faith grows from the Word of God. Therefore, Word of God, Word of God, Word of God. We must hear it. We must, we must read it. We must believe it. We must say it. We must keep every day, say with our mouth what we believe in our heart. Say with our mouth what we believe in my heart. Don't be saying, oh, well, it didn't happen. Oh, no, now what we're going to do? Oh, no, the devil's on us. Oh, the devil's beating us up. Oh, now we're poor. Oh, this country's poor, so we're poor. My father was poor. My mom was poor. My grandmother was poor, so I'm poor. Stop it. Don't talk that way. When you're born again, you have the measure of faith. Let it grow up. As you believe more with your heart and say with your mouth, that faith level is going to climb inside of you. And it, the Bible doesn't say faith only works in the United States of America. It does not say that. Faith does not work in Pakistan, India, Kenya, Honduras, Central America, Latin American countries. Kenya does not work. In, I mean, uh, uh, faith does not work in the third world countries. Faith does not work for orphans. Faith does not work for widows. Faith does not work for single people. Faith does not. It doesn't say that. Faith cometh to anyone that allows it to come to them and believe. Okay? So, faith grows from the Word of God. More Word of God, your faith will grow. Faith is fed by the Word. It's nourished by the Word. By the word. Faith, you have to feed it. Feed it so it'll grow and become a giant of faith. In Jeremiah 15, 16, it says, Thy words were found and I did eat them. Eat the word of God. Nourish yourself with the word of God. In Job 25, 23, 12, it says, I have not gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteem. I, I have put above all. You know, I have made it a, a point to make it important. I treasured up the words of his mouth from the, from the Bible more than my necessary food. The word of God is more important than my necessary food. That's how much important the word is because it feeds my faith. And faith will get me the food. Faith will give me the material. Faith will give me my healing. Faith will give me the friends. Faith will give me my building. Faith will give me my whatever you need. Faith will get it for you. I have to live that way too. It's not just because the United States has a lot of money, which it does, but it, it, but, but it doesn't matter. You can be rich in Pakistan, India, Kenya, Central America, South America. You can be rich first in the Word of God. You must be rich in the Word of God. Then the rest will come. Matthew 6.33, seek first the kingdom of God and His right standing. And everything else shall be added unto you. Are you seeking God daily? Are you staying in the Word? Are you reading? Or are you only reading for three minutes and then it's over? Are you only praying for five minutes and then it's over? What did Jesus say? Could you not pray for one hour? Minimum. We must pray one hour minimum. People of God, sons and daughters of Jesus' love, Churches International. One hour minimum. Don't get up every morning and just call Apostle Luis. Hi, Apostle. We need this. We need that. Uh, 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 uh. You get up in the morning and say, Lord, you see what's needed here. We believe we receive for the wells to open up. 
for the food for the orphans. We thank you for the cows to come into our land. The roosters, the chickens, you know, the pigs, whatever you need. Thank you, God of heaven and earth. We call on you early in the morning and late at night, in the afternoon. Don't be calling Apostle Luis. I'm not God. Okay? I thank you for your greetings and I will greet you too. But I'm trying to encourage you that faith will get what you need. Even in the third world countries or in places that is not a USA or it's primitive, or it's, or it's old-fashioned, you know, faith will get it for you. Learn faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We'll stop right there, and we'll continue again with, uh, there's also faith for salvation. There's faith for healing. There's faith that overcomes the world. There's faith uh, overcomes the world that is based on the Word of God. There's faith before... Uh, Versus mental thinking and believing up here. There's faith that overcomes the world and sees the answer as having already happened. So there's more in faith. We'll continue some more uh, in Jesus' name. But hey, listen, it was I was happy to be here with you. Please, uh, you guys, um, I need you to see this whole video. Okay? Don't just look at it and say, oh, it was great. No, I want three things for you to tell me about this video. What faith is. Give me three things. Did you see the whole video? Number one. Number two. What did you get out of this video? Huh? And number three. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to practice it? I love you. Father, I pray for all the Jesus is Love churches, international ministers, congregations, children, orphans, pastors, leaders, hallelujah, evangelists, teachers. Thank you, Father. I give you glory. Apostles, prophets, I thank you for the ministers to do something with their faith and always keep the love foundation. Faith, work it by love. So make sure your love is there so the faith can work. I love you. I pray for you. Be healed. Be well. God provide for you because of your faith. Use your faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Apostle Luis Chacon here saying, God bless you. Let's stay in touch. Soon we'll talk again. God bless you. Amen.